What y'all got going on YouTube? It is Who Cash from Weez. Back with another video, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If y'all can't tell, we is back inside uh, my apparel, you feel me? Whatever y'all wanna call this. My little pieces. But yeah, man. Y'all folks, keep staying tuned. I'm finna be dropping the SMS list and stuff like that soon so y'all can sign up for the updates on the clothes and stuff. Site gonna be coming uh, soon too, so y'all will probably see the site in one of my next upcoming vlogs. And website coming soon. So to everybody that wants to stay updated on the brand, man, y'all folks just keep staying tuned with these vlogs because these vlogs will give y'all all the updates on my clothing brand. So uh, like I said, man, the Instagram will be coming sometime soon. Website will be coming sometime soon. And then the SMS list will be coming. So as long as y'all watching these videos, y'all will be the first people to stay updated on everything related to my clothing brand pieces. But yeah, y'all, today we is doing a little... Uh, it's a it's a day in the life of Casper, but it's slick like a get ready with me type errand type whatever you want to call it type video. Y'all folks just stay tuned. Y'all know my videos be hella entertaining. But we is about to go downstairs right now, get in the car and shit like that. Uh, you feel me? And we finna ride out to my PO box because everybody been trying to send me PO packages and they've been sending back to the people that's been sending them to me because I forgot to renew my PO box. So we about to renew my PO box for a year. So this time y'all ain't got to worry about no issues with sending me packages and stuff to anybody that tried to send me something in the past to return to y'all. If y'all send it again, I promise y'all it'll go through and you feel me like I'll give y'all like a free shout out posted on my page or something like that just to like thank y'all for sending y'all stuff to me. And just to like try to give y'all some type of some type of something for the issues in the past. You know what I'm saying? Cause I do feel bad about people that try to send me stuff that couldn't get it to me. But yeah, y'all, P.O. box is gonna be fixed. So if you're watching this video right now, look in the description. The P.O. box that's in the description is my active P.O. box. You can't send to that. But yeah, man, we finna head to the P.O. box, pick up whatever packages are there, fix my P.O. And then uh I got other stuff I need to do for the day, but we're gonna see what happens. So y'all folks just stay tuned. I'll see y'all for some second. All right, y'all boys, so we is at my P.O. box. We finna run this bitch real quick, you feel me? Make this shit quick, fast, and easy. Renew this P.O. box, grab y'all folks' packages, and then get my ass on the fucking, on the road. Hold up, y'all, I gotta grab my Glick. Nigga say, if y'all know me, y'all know I can't go nowhere in public without that Blicky on me. Got no kids on that one. But yeah, y'all, say, I ain't been in this bitch in like two months. I don't know why I ain't been coming here, but I'm finna get back in the motion to come to my P.O. box. Say everybody be sending me stuff, y'all start sending me shit again. Y'all fuck on ever say I don't fuck with y'all, boy. I'm over here spending down to $300 to keep my P.O. box for six months. I know y'all be sending me shit, but it costs me too. So y'all niggas don't think I don't fuck with y'all. All right, y'all, boy. So we leaving the P.O. box, you feel me? I got me a, a, a little trad bag full of shit this time. Usually it don't be this much stuff. Say, so it's some stuff in there today. Say, We'll open up all these packages when uh, I get to my next destination so I can really sit down and look at them for real. But yeah, y'all, they say P P.O. Box renewed for another six months. So if y'all want to send me packages, you feel me? We is good to go. Y'all y'all look at the link in my bio, uh, the address in my bio. And if y'all want to send me stuff, my P.O. address is in my bio and it is back valid. So y'all folks could send stuff to my P.O. again. We got about like five, six packages. I think it might be more than that, but... We'll check out the packages, like I said, when we get to the spot. We just finna get in the car and ride out. I'm gonna talk to y'all folks for a little bit while we riding, because I know I ain't had a chance to really have like a, uh, y'all know I be doing my little sit downs, and I be doing my little motivational speeches with y'all and shit. I ain't had a chance to really do one of these in a minute. Um, First off, bro, I want to start off by telling y'all folks thank you. I tell y'all this shit every vlog, but I don't think y'all understand, like, how sincere that shit is like when i tell y'all thank you i'm not just telling you just just to do it for the vlog or just to say it for the video like i genuinely be thanking y'all folks because it was a point in time when all the shit that's going on right now when all the shit that i'm doing right now i didn't think it was possible you know what i'm saying when i was a little kid bro i would die to have somebody listen to me y'all i used to be the little kid uh mind you i wasn't always no eyeball or no shit you feel me uh when I got in high school and shit, I was kind of like normal. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's normal. I feel like everybody different in their own little way. But until I got in ninth grade, y'all, I used to be like the nigga that really was looked over for real. You know what I'm saying? I had dreads. I didn't get my first haircut until I was 13. So a lot of people don't notice about me. But like I would get bullied till I was like fucking 12 years old or some shit like that. And the nigga really just stopped going for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody reached their breaking point when it comes to the bullying shit. But like for the longest, bro. I was not accepted into like the regular 
group of people. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't a cool motherfucker, y'all. So I say all that shit just to say, bro, I used to be highly overlooked. I used to be like my, the words and shit that I would say would not matter, bro. Like motherfuckers didn't give a fuck about what I was talking about. But the reason why I'm saying this and I'm telling y'all this story is because I want y'all folks to realize, bro, it's a lot of people right now that's not listening to you. It's a lot of people right now that's not paying you no attention. They not fucking understanding you or seeing where you come from. And it's all good because y'all don't need to seek acceptance from nobody but your fucking self. Because what I come to realize is I was seeking acceptance from all these different people. Now that I graduated and I got into the real world, a lot of the people that was treating me like shit, for one, ain't nobody's no more, bro. I want y'all to understand all that high school clout and shit. Once niggas enter the real world, bro, all that shit go out the window. So popular motherfuckers right now not going to be popular later. Motherfuckers with money right now might not have money later. But I say all that shit just to say, bro, don't get discouraged, bro. Niggas treating you weird. Niggas overlooking you. You feel like you an eyeball and... You just got something deep down in you to just tell you, bro, like you you got a voice or you meant to be heard. Bro, just keep going in your in your destiny. Keep walking in your passion and in your faith and shit like that. Because what I could tell y'all folks is I went from being a nigga overlooked. Nobody would listen to what the fuck I was talking about. Now it's I got millions of views now, y'all. Millions of people have heard the words that I got to say, bro. I've changed thousands of people's lives without even knowing it, bro. I get fucking messages from people all the fucking time. But I be telling y'all this shit because if I would have let people discourage me, if I would have let people make me feel like what I was saying wasn't worth it, or if I just let people make me feel like I was really a nobody, bro, I would have gave up, bro. Everybody is somebody. Whether it's in your world or whether it's in somebody else's world, I don't think y'all niggas be realizing, bro, like, you be feeling like such a small person, but to your little sister or your little brother, you might be a superhero, gang. You got what I'm saying? You be feeling like your life is so bad, but it's some nigga that wants your life bad. You know what I'm saying? So I just always be telling people like shit's all about perspective. And the only perspective that matters is your own. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't care about how nobody looking at your life or what you got going on but yourself. I used to let people's opinions really affect me. I used to let what people were saying about me really affect me. And that shit was holding me back, bro. I could have been way farther than I am now if I just stopped giving a fuck about if niggas like what I was doing or if niggas fuck with what I was doing, the females fuck with what I was doing. The moment I start being myself, I start living my truth and really like doing what I wanted to do. The friends I was meant to have start coming around. The females I was meant to talk to start falling into place. The shit that I wanted for myself really start happening how it was supposed to happen. But I was living my truth. I stopped living in other people's, living in other people's validation or living for other people. I started living for me. So the biggest message I, I want y'all to take from this shit is, bro, live for yourself, bro. Do for you. You feel me? And just have fun, bro, because at the end of the day, I ain't gonna lie, bro, my life was ass when I was trying to get people to accept me. But when I stopped giving a fuck about people's opinions and I really just started doing what the fuck I wanted to do, regardless of if people was gonna fuck with it or niggas was gonna think I was a weirdo or if niggas was gonna love what I was doing or hate what I was doing, I just said, fuck it, bro, this is what I wanted to do. My life is so much funner, bro. For the longest, bro, I was living and I was living for another motherfucker and wondering why I was so displeased with how my life was going or how shit was turning out for me. The moment I just said, fuck everybody opinion, niggas gonna call me weird, some niggas gonna, gonna say that I'm green or whatever the case may be and I just started doing what the fuck I wanted to do regardless of what the fuck people gonna say. My life is so much happier, bro. I live so much better knowing that like, shit, I'm cool with what I got going on right now. This is what I always dream for myself. But somebody else might think that, like, I'm a lame or, you know what I'm saying? This nigga do camera work and vlog every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? So just remember, bro, just live for you, bro, and do for you. Because a lot of times when you living for other people, bro, you don't want to do what the fuck these niggas want, want you to do to be accepted. So just be your fucking self. But, yeah, y'all, uh, right now, I'm finna go somewhere where I could sit down and really just, like, open up y'all PO packages, you feel me, and shit. And uh, I guess I'll get back to y'all folks when I get to where I'm going. But y'all folks, stay tuned. Y'all gonna enjoy this video just like y'all enjoy all my other videos. And like I said, bruh, I know I say this shit every vlog, but I want y'all to know, like, I really mean this shit. Like, I appreciate y'all folks, bro. It's 25,000 people right now to subscribe to my YouTube. And even if you don't watch every video, bro, to the people that tune in and tune out, like, to the people that try to keep up with me and what I got going on in my life, like, I appreciate y'all folks, like, 
at one point in time, I ain't have no outlook, nobody to talk to, or nobody that I felt like understood me or understand what the fuck I had going on. And now it's 25,000 motherfuckers. Like, even if we not exactly alike, I know y'all agree with some of the shit I'm saying or some of the shit I be going through, or else y'all wouldn't uh, y'all wouldn't have subscribed to see me again. You know what I'm saying? So I just thank y'all folks for giving me a platform and a foundation where I could fucking be myself. And I honestly thank y'all folks for just trusting me and putting y'all faith in me because y'all niggas. Y'all be telling me I'm changing y'all lives And y'all really be inspired and motivated by me But I'm just appreciative That niggas even trust me To take my advice or trust me To to take into consideration Some of the shit I be saying Or you feel me just even listen to me bro Y'all do not have to listen to none of what I be saying Y'all do not have to watch these videos So I'm really appreciative of y'all folks And I'm gonna always be appreciative of y'all folks Like I said man Y'all folks just stay tuned I'm gonna get back to y'all folks When I can sit down somewhere and chill So I can open up my P.O. packages for real But with that being said I'll get back to y'all folks in a second No cap, no kids I ain't gonna lie Y'all ain't seen me drive in a little second So you feel me We finna get y'all a little uh, I mean this ain't really a POV It's a little It's a little POV But it's not a POV I call this shit like a teaser for real Cause I ain't gonna count A POV is when you You feel me like 10-15 minutes of In the car getting active Y'all probably only gonna see me got down, you feel me, fly through a couple lights or some shit, but yeah, man. Little, little, little something, little slight something. Now, mind y'all, y'all folks, uh, when we get to 100K on this channel, y'all, I'm gonna start my car channel, man. I ain't gonna lie, when I start my car channel, y'all, we doing strictly POVs with the GoPro on the head, so y'all niggas can really see me get active with the wheel. So y'all niggas really see me get active with the wheel. Y'all hear that motherfucker, though. All these goddamn lights and shit in the middle of downtown. Okay, we out. We out, child. Hold up. Hold up. Which way we going? We need to go that way. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That's the only thing I don't lie about driving through downtown and shit. It be too much shit going on to drive how you want to. Y'all hear that motherfucker whining? Hold up, y'all. We're coming up to another light. Looks like we're gonna have to slow this bitch down. But yeah, y'all. I love y'all driving my little car. This motherfucker be sounding like some shit. Homeless man, why in the hell is you in the middle of the goddamn street? I'm gonna give your ass some money, boy. My mama, you almost just got hit by the whip, all that fucking playing. Nigga said, nigga, play too much. Cause why in the hell is you in the middle of the goddamn street? Nigga say, why in the hell? So I gotta give you some chain car, I'm gonna hit your ass. I feel bad. I appreciate you. <laughs> no problem, gang. Yeah, I don't really believe in uh, putting homeless people with, like, face on camera and shit like that. I feel like that shit highly disrespectful. And the reason, I'm going to tell y'all why I feel like it's disrespectful. I understand they human beings and shit, which is why I would say it's disrespectful because what nigga want to be recorded at their lowest points in life? But not even that, bro. Y'all got to start realizing that when you do a good deed, it don't need to be caught on camera because if you're really doing it out of the kindness of your heart, it don't need to be so projected or, you feel me? What the fuck do you need evidence of you doing a good deed for? Like, to all the motherfuckers that give away on camera, I'm not saying that you're not helping people, but you helping people for attention. Because if you were genuinely just helping people just to help people, you wouldn't even record you doing the shit. So that's why a lot of times, y'all, I give money away damn near every day. I fucking give back whenever I can, you get what I'm saying? But I don't record a lot of my good deeds because I'm truly doing it out of the kindness of my heart. I'm not doing it for views or satisfaction and shit like that. Now, if you're recording you doing a good deed to inspire other people to help the community, that's one thing. But to the nigga that just records himself giving a dollar to a homeless person every time you give a dollar away, or you record yourself giving change away or helping people every time you help someone, you're not helping people to really help people. you helping people because of the publicity and the shit that come with the shit. But yeah, y'all. The main reason I don't put people on cameras is because, for one, they human beings just like me. And I'm fairly certain when a human being is, is at their lowest point in life or close to their lowest point in life, they wouldn't want to be recorded. And for two, I be taking into consideration that some of these homeless people might be some of my support base or some of my goddamn viewers, fucking family members. Like, that homeless man could have been somebody, uncle, granddad, auntie, uh, grandma, whatever the case may be. He could have been your dad or your mama, your brother or your sister. So I don't believe in recording people, too, because... Because you be recording some of these people, family members at their lowest points in life. Boy, I don't want to go on YouTube and I see my auntie that I ain't seen in five years homeless on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So I just really be taking into consideration like, bro, people don't want they self-publicized like that, y'all. But yeah, we is almost at the destination for where I'm going to open up y'all P.O. boxes. So when I get there, I will open up 
uh, the P.O. boxes and y'all will get a chance to look at all these nice ass clothes with me. And like I said once, I'm going to say it again because y'all know people be skipping through the video and don't be watching the whole video all the way through. So the people that try to send shit in my P.O. box before, my P.O. box was messed up. It's fixed now. So if you try to send me something before and it's sent back to you, send it again and this time it'll go through. And now you feel me? I'll give you a free little promo and shit just for all your hard times and troubles. And to all the people that haven't ever sent nothing to my P.O. box but you want to, my P.O. box is in my description. So look in my description, copy and paste the P.O. box address, and all of your packages will get received. You feel me? Thank y'all to everybody that sent stuff to me in the past, and thank y'all to everybody that plans on sending stuff to me in the future. But yeah, y'all, like I said, man, uh, y'all folks, y'all folks got down, you feel me? Send, send me some shit, man. I need me some new drip, man. All y'all folks that got the clothes, man. If y'all got some hard ass sweatpants, it's getting cold outside. Y'all nigga got some oversized t shirts. Regular t-shirt, y'all got some hoodies, beanies, ski mat. Nigga, I wear everything, bro. Y'all ain't y'all niggas know I ain't picky, nigga. I wear anything. If it's drip, it's going on my body. So yeah, man, y'all fuck, y'all fuck, fuck with the kid, man. I don't wanna sound like no begging that nigga, but fuck with me. Hey, glad. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come back to y'all folks in one second. We gonna open up these PO packages. All right, child boy. So I'm finally somewhere where I can put y'all PO uh, packages down and open these bitches. You feel me? Hold up. They say we got a whole trash bag full today, y'all. Y'all boys went crazy. To everybody that sent something to my P.O. Box, again, thank y'all. And if y'all want to send something, the link or the address to my P.O. Box is in the description and in my Instagram bio. But, let's say, hold on, y'all. Let's see if I get the angle right. We finna get straight into the unboxing portion, man. All right, y'all boys. So, you feel me? Trash bag locked and loaded. Let's go ahead and get in this motherfucker. We got package number one, man. Where is this shit from? This shit say it's from... This shit from, oh, this from Atlanta. Whoever you is in Atlanta, this shit me to pay it. Shout out to you, gang. Hold on, let's open this shit up, though. See what the hell we got going. I really be needing something to open this shit sometime. They be ODing with these packages. Okay, let's see who the hell shit we got, y'all. Let's tear them motherfuckers open. Say thank you for supporting y'all folks. Uh, scan that QR code, you feel me? If y'all folks want to go straight to his Instagram. This shit is from O-U-T-O Fonswit? How do you pronounce that, Twin? Out of Ones Wit. Oh, Out of Ones Wit. Okay. Okay. Shout out to Out of Ones Wit. At first, I was just reading it as one single word, not multiple words. I was like, what the fuck is that shit say? Shout out to Out of, out of Ones Wit. Let me see what the hell this shit look like, though. Okay, so we gonna, I'm gonna automatically tell you off rip. This motherfucker is thick. I don't know if y'all can see on camera, but this is a, it's not a thin shirt. It's a bit thick as hell. Design hard. You feel me? Hold up. Let's see if we get the full. You see the full design, man? Yeah, we see the full shit. Hey, this shit cool. Ain't got nothing on the back. He do got his custom inside on it. It's a con shit, gang. Thank you to, you feel me, uh, out of ones with. I fuck this shit. If y'all folks want one, y'all go buy y'all shit off gang site. You feel me? He got a little Playboy girl on it. Spider taking over the world. Some more shit. All right, we on to the next one, though. E fold him off up. Throw this bit back in the packaging because I don't need to get nothing get this shit fucked up. Alright, let's see what else we got. I'ma go with I'ma say this package for last, cause this nigga got a custom bag. I feel like this shit gonna be some fire shit. I don't know y'all. We're gonna see. We're gonna say that one for last. Alright, we're gonna do this one next. This one of my smaller packages. We're gonna do one. I be fucking with the small packages, y'all. The small packages usually be some fire shit, cause like I don't know what it is about the small package. The big boxes you would think will have some crazy shit in it, but the big boxes just be having hoodies and shit. These little small motherfucker, or they just a shirt. Not it's just a shirt, but you get what I'm saying. Hold up, here we go. We got another card. They say thank you. We appreciate your loyalty. Nothing else can compare. The name of this brand is Loyalty and Nothing Else Clothing. Y'all could barely see it because it's small as fuck, but loyalty and nothing else clothing. I like your card. This card is hard as fuck with the Atlanta A and the thank you. And then it say Lane with the Atlanta A on this side. Hold on, y'all. Let me read what it say. Say, Cash, we appreciate you, bro, for accepting this gift. Much love and success. Shout out to Gangi. You are very much appreciated on my end. No local jokers. Atlanta Rays. We stand on all 10 at all times. Loyalty and nothing else. More than money can buy. 100% authentic, loyal, and 100% Atlanta. Shout out to Gang. I fuck with all the Atlanta brands. You feel me? Atlanta really running the clothing brand scene right now. Y'all would be completely fuck honest. See what the hell we got here, Gangi. Yeah, okay, cool. First off, pay attention to details, y'all. He came custom tag, you feel me? Like, these cost money, y'all. Like, little details and shit cost money. He got the custom inside, too. Okay. 
What this shit made out of? A hundred percent cotton? Let me let me see, nigga. Still like this some cotton, y'all. I don't know what cotton smell like. You know, leather got a smell, but it, it feel like some genuine cotton to me, y'all. We'll see if this motherfucker get lint balls on it within the next week or two. What the fuck the front of this shit say, or is this the back? This the front. Okay, so the front of this shit say, in case of an emergency, stay down. That's real. And then he put some numbers on that bitch like it's a proverb or something. Y'all see it at the bottom? Yeah, man. He say, in case of an emergency, stay down. And then what the back of this bitch say? The back of this motherfucker say, in case of emergency, stay down with his, uh, oh, we got his little saying on it. We pray. You pray and remain solid. Be willing to accept change and adapt to wildlife. Never compromise yourself under any circumstances. In case of emergency, stay down. Loyalty and nothing else. I like your meaning, gang. You know, a lot of niggas be having brands, but it's really like no type of... It's no type of... What's it called, twin? Like Substance. Yeah, it's no substance. And then not even just like no substance. Like Niggas have meaningless ass brands. Y'all niggas just be dropping shirts and shit. Like, gang, your brand ain't got no meaning behind it, nigga. I feel like your brand should have some type of uh, some type of message or some type of image you're trying to get across. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. So, cause even like with Hellstar, bro, like he said he named it Hellstar because he was a church kid and he felt like he was different. He was like the star within darkness or something like that. I think that's what he said. On to the next package, though. Oh, this shit finna be some shit, nigga. It's a, when you see a package inside a package, it's finna be some shit, y'all. This one is from... This shit from Wisconsin. Shout out to uh, whoever sent me this from Wisconsin. Y'all folks are greatly appreciated. Oh, it's a letter in here. Y'all know I love my little heartfelt notes, y'all. Oh, nah, gang ass dedicated to his craft. He printed out his note. He ain't write this motherfucker, y'all. Hey, Casper, I want to give you a pair of my S3 Vision custom-made flare cargo corduroy pants. Very versatile pair of pants. I'll be hoping in your lot. Oh, I'll be hopping in your lives. And then you are saying some real shit. Keep doing what you're doing, gang. I hope you enjoy these and put solid fit with these. And then he tagged his name. It's S3 Vision with two ends. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hold up. Let's see if it clears up. Okay. S3 Visions with two ends. I know it's backwards, but I'll put the at name somewhere on the screen. Um. Oh, there we go. S3 Visions. You feel me? Instagram and shit right there, y'all. It's backwards for y'all, but I feel like y'all. You Y'all you, can piece that shit together, y'all. But yeah, gang. Shout out to you. Let me see what the hell your sweats look like. This nigga said, let me read this shit, nigga. This nigga put a very descriptive description on this bitch. This shit says, flared corduroy sweats. First of all, I ain't never seen no corduroy sweats. Oh, God. Damn sure I ain't seen no flared corduroy sweats. Oh, nah, these shit's different. I don't even, like, I'm gonna have to really think of what, how I want to put these together. They're not sweats. They're fucking pants. Nah, gang, you go to and this nigga got my size right. Y'all niggas always be getting my size wrong. I'm small as hell, bro. I Now, mind y'all, I'm going to give y'all the benefit of the doubt because I did not have my sizes on my Instagram for my P.O. Box information. My sizes are on my Instagram now. Everything I wear is a small. If it's pants, it's 28, 32. If it's shoes, it's size 9. If it's hat, 7 and a half. But yeah, y'all, I thought this nigga said sweats. These ain't no sweats, nigga. These some hard-ass jeans, y'all. Look at these. Hold up. Get a clip. Nigga. Pockets on it, different color. They're corduroy. If y'all don't know what corduroy is, y'all see like how it got lines in the material. Another pocket. And they flare like some gallery del pen. I'ma put some I'ma put some freaky ass shit together for these. These is hard, y'all. Cannot lie to y'all. He popped this shit with these pants. So gang that send me the corduroys, when I figure out an outfit for these, I will tag you in a picture. So if you get added in a picture in the next 15, 10 to 15 days. Yeah, no. Look, Casper, fuck with your brand. But yeah, gang, I ain't gonna count to you. For one, I fuck with this shit because you paid attention to details. You feel me? You can't custom tag on the inside. You feel me? Uh, Even the pockets on the inside got something on it. It says 100% uh, cotton corduroy. And it got the date on when he made your pants, y'all. It say he made these September 14th, 2022. And it's 100% authentic corduroy. This is hard as fuck, gang. Like I said, bro, I see brands do shit all the time, but they just mimic each other and copy each other. I can genuinely say you the first person I seen do pants, and these pants are original as hell, gang. Corduroy with the brown pockets is hard. But yeah, man, I tag you in a picture when I wear these on Instagram. I got to find something to wear with these hoes. But yeah, y'all, they got the flared corduroy joints. I might throw these on sometime in the vlog to show y'all what they look like on body. But all in all, all in all, these motherfucking Hemothy. All right, y'all, so... 
off for the pants. It's crazy, cause I just said I needed some pants too, so. Thank you, gang, you are very much appreciated. If you drop any more innovative, different, or different pants, send them to me. I want all your jeans. Your jeans idea is hard. No cap, no kiss. They got me. And then, see, this is another reason I fuck with him, bro. Pay attention to details. Gang guys go custom tag, 100% authentic material, custom inside tags, and this nigga ship your shit to you in a bag, inside of a bag. That nigga care about y'all products for real, like, this a nigga that's trying to make sure your product get to you in the same way he shipped it to your ass. Hold up, though. Trying to get this shit back in the package. This shit actually kind of hard, y'all. I'm struggling like a motherfucker. All right. Corduroy pants, back in the package. Let me zip the motherfucker up. I think we got two more packages, y'all. One more package. Oh, no, we got two. So, we gonna do this one right here. And then this the last one out of this damn trash bag, y'all. Where the hell is this one from? This one's from Arlington, Texas. Shout out my Texas boys, man. All right, I'll open this bitch up real quick to see what going on inside of my truck. It's a letter in here. Let me not cut that up. Let me get your little letter out of here, gang. Is there something else in here? Yeah, no, it's everything. Okay. I told y'all, see, most people write their letters on paper. Gang printed his shit. That nigga took that shit in his mouth. Hold up. He said, yo, what's up, Casper? I just found you from one of your free game videos, so I decided to send you a piece of my brain. Oh, for my brand. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm reading too fast. My brand is eternal.us. Okay, so I'm going to put his brand somewhere on the screen. It is number three, T-E-R-N-A-L. So eternal with the three dot U-S. I'll put it on the screen so y'all folks to go follow it easier. I know it'd be kind of hard for y'all folks to piece this shit together. Oh, it's crazy, gang. I seen your brand before, and I actually wanted one of these t-shirts. That's, 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 that's hard. Like, I be seeing niggas post this t-shirt, and I was finna get one type shit. Now, mind y'all, I like I like this shirt just because it bit thick, you feel me? And he did a full print design, and he go, he come trim with the design on the back, too. If y'all know, I got hella red and white uh, Louis V shoes, so thank you for this shirt, gang, because this should go with all of my shoes I got. Say the front, say, Sternal Studios, no cap. Say, face your demons. With, with, with the... The demonic goat on that bitch and the heads and shit. And then what this shit on the back is? It's a three for eternal? Yeah. Say members only, y'all. That shit just funny because, like, I don't know, bro. It's just funny to me because I dead just seen this nigga brand on TikTok or some shit. And I was like, I might, I might get one, bro. All right, y'all. So thank you, gang, for the t-shirt. Last but not least, I wanted to open up this one last just because, like, the packaging looks crazy. First of all, it's in a clear P.O. package. I ain't never seen a clear P.O. package in my life. And let me see where the hell this shit from. Where the hell is this one from? This one is from Maryland. All right, y'all, let's open this shit up, man. A clear package inside of a clear package? I can fuck with it. Oh, he gave me some little accessories and shit. Yeah, man. So we got us a little sticker. You feel me? Or is this a tattoo? What is this? Is this a sticker? It's a sticker. Then he got the custom stickers. Y'all ain't never seen the custom stickers, though. What does it say on the front? It say Mogul. Shout out to Mogul for sending this to me. You feel me? Okay, we're going to go to the next little uh, thing that he sent me in here. What the hell is this? Ski man? Hey. And it got a look. See, bro. Shit like this be cool, bro. Because niggas like this. This is how you could tell a nigga pay attention to details. First of all, it's a package inside of a package. What another package inside the package What a damn letter on this bitch. Let's see what the letter say, y'all. I'm trying not to rip it off because it's stuck to the packaging. Okay. It's something in this bitch. It's something wrapped up in this bitch. It feel like a coin or something, y'all. Hold up. Y'all got to see this on camera. What? This nigga sent me a dollar? Because I sent me 75 cents. By what the hell? Thanks to whoever you are. Thank you, gangy. Fuck you talking about? That nigga just sent me three quarters, y'all. I ain't never had no nigga send me change through the goddamn mail before I put this in my pocket. This will be going to the next homeless man, I see. Wait, let me look at these coins first. It might, is it a special coin? Why you send me quarters, gang? If you watching this vlog right now, if you walk it, I'm going to read the letter, but if you watching this vlog right now, are they rare quarters or something? Why you send me quarters? I'm going to keep them just because you sent them to me. I was going to give them to the homeless because that's what I do with all my quarters, but... I ain't never seen a quarter with this on it before. Hold on, y'all, look at the quarter. The quarter got something on it I ain't seen before. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know how clear that is, but it's a nigga with a flag on this one, and then this one got a nigga holding a knife. Hold up. Yeah, this one got a nigga holding a knife on this bitch. 
I'm gonna keep these. Maybe they some rare quarters or something. I'm finna read the letter though. Let's see what your significance behind sending me quarters in the mail is. Mogul, I appreciate you for spending your hard earned money on my brand. It means a lot to me and I don't take the love for granted. You sent me a dollar for sending me a P.O. package? I respect that. Thank you. You're gladly... Bro, like, I'm so confused. I've never had nobody send... I, bro, I, done, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, gang. I done had people send me drugs in my P.O. box without asking. And we not gonna say what happened to them. I might have used them. I might have gave them to the, the local uh, law enforcement. Never had a nigga send me change before. That right there is crazy. All right, y'all. So let's open this up, though. Say, this is what the change was attached to. It was attached to this. Is this a ski mask? Hey, that shit crazy. Y'all niggas, if y'all niggas follow me on Instagram and TikTok, y'all remember two days ago I was just ranting about how motherfuckers stole my Nike Tech ski mask. I feel like you might have been one of the people in my live when I was complaining about my ski mask getting stolen. Thank you. I need Somebody stole my fucking Nike Tech ski mask and I've been having a conniption about that bitch for three days. So to the nigga that sent me a new ski mask, thank you. I will be wearing this sometime soon because I needed this bitch. Fuck you talking about. I've been doing bad in these streets. I've been got down looking for a goddamn... For another ski mask. Nigga done sent one to my field box. Now mind you, the bitch kind of big now, twin. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm still wearing this shit, but this bitch, this bitch big. I don't know who the fuck had this big, but. So you gotta wash that hoe. What? Shrink it a little bit. I'm oh God, I'm gonna have to throw this bitch in the washing machine, shrink that bit. But yeah, y'all. Shout out the gang for sending me a ski mask, because I told y'all niggas somebody stole my ski mask, and I needed one of these terribly, so you are greatly appreciated. On to... Last but not least, I think this is a hoodie, y'all. Let's see. Oh, these sweats? Man, I fuck with you, bro. It seemed like niggas was listening to me the last uh, live stream I was on. Because in the last live I was on, I complained about a nigga never sending me pants before. Somebody sent me pants this time. I complained about my ski mask being stolen. Someone sent me a ski mask. It seems like everybody sent me everything I've been asking for. So if y'all folks watch my lives or y'all watch my TikTok or my, my Instagram live... And y'all heard me ask for this shit, and you sent it to me, y'all are appreciated because I be feeling like niggas don't be listening to me. I, this actually makes me feel good because niggas actually sent me some of the stuff I be asking for. I told, I was like, I'm tired of getting shirts all the fucking time and hoodies. When the hell niggas gonna start sending me pants and some different shit? Mm -hmm. And this time, a nigga ain't getting number pants. So thank you to everybody sent some of my PO box. All right, let's get a let's get a full view on these, y'all. So we got some sweats. You feel me? Shout out to Mogul Forever. Y'all could go to mogulforever.com if y'all want to get y'all some of this merch. And then, you feel me? Um, he say if you use the promo code THANKS, it'll take $5 off of your next order, y'all. So, you feel me? And, and y'all can scan this QR code right here. Shout out to Mogul Forever because he pays deep attention to details. He got hella, like, custom tags on his pants and stuff. It's a high-quality material. And he got a website, and he giving out discount codes. So you got to fuck with, bro. Not to mention, he got the custom zipper and shit. Then he got the, the, the Chinese or the Asian custom zipper. This shit hard. And it say Mogul on the front with the rhinestones. You feel me? Got his brand uh, logo right here. And they're cuffed at the bottom. I actually fuck with these because I got a lot of flare sweats. I don't have a lot of cuff sweats. So I appreciate you for sending me these, uh, me these gang. Because for one, I needed sweats. For two... I needed some sweats that ain't fucking, uh, what you call it, flared at the bottom. And for three, I need a ski mask. So to everybody that sent something to my P.O. box, man, y'all folks are greatly appreciated. This is the end of the P.O. unboxing. If anybody want to send something to me, the address to my P.O. box is in the description. And to anybody that did send something to me, again, y'all are appreciated. Like, I, I told y'all folks I needed sweats. Y'all sent me sweats. I told y'all I needed pants. Y'all sent me pants. Y'all answered everything and gave me everything I could have possibly asked for. So, we are done. And, yeah, man, I'm done yapping and shit. I see y'all folks in a little second. We finna go find something else to do with my time. So, with that being said, I see y'all folks later. Deuce. What y'all got going on YouTube? You feel me? Uh, we is back into the vlog, y'all. I ain't on cap. I know it probably look like it's late to y'all, but it's actually early. It's like fucking 629 in the morning, y'all. Uh, I'm trying to wake up today and really handle all my business and all the shit I got to take care of. So we just finna go to fucking Starbucks real quick, y'all, so I can get me, uh, you feel me? I don't drink coffee. Y'all last might drink coffee, but I don't drink coffee. That's not really my forte. I'm finna go in this bitch, get me like a hot cocoa and then, you feel me, like some little shit to uh, munch on type shit. I'm finna get me breakfast, basically, y'all, but yeah, y'all. Y'all know I usually don't get up early, but uh, it's 6.29 right now, y'all. 
It's six thirty in the morning, y'all, and we done brought our ass to uh, motherfucking Starbucks, y'all. Hold on, I don't know if y'all can see the symbol for real, but they say it's six thirty, y'all, and we done brought our ass to goddamn Starbucks. I can't even fucking get my camera to focus. Y'all, y'all can see that shit though. I think, I think y'all can see it. It's right there. The symbol kind of blurry because that bitch kind of far. But like I said, y'all, it is six thirty in the morning, and we came to Starbucks to get breakfast. So we could start our day off the right way, you feel me? You gotta eat breakfast so your brain can work properly and shit like that. And yeah, man, I'm just hungry in general. So that's why I'm really stopping here. If y'all wonder what I be getting when I be going to Starbucks, uh, I get a hot chocolate with some, uh, what's, what's that shit called? With the whipped cream. And then I get like, uh, if I'm like, want like some real food type shit, I be getting like the little uh, croissant sandwich shit. But if I just want some quick shit, like some, some snack type vibe, I be getting a little cheese danishes. But I'm finna go in here and go get my food, y'all, so I see y'all folks when I come back outside. All right, y'all, so we is back at the crib, you feel me? I got my food, I got my drinks, I got my spliff. We good to go, y'all. So, you feel me? I'm finna uh, watch me some TV, eat, you feel me? Smoke, shit like that. And I will come back to y'all folks when I get ready to get dressed. And I'm uh, uh, y'all gonna help me pick my outfit out for the day. Y'all not gonna help me, but the people on live gonna help me. If y'all wanna start helping me or y'all wanna see me when I'm uh, getting ready for the day, putting my outfits on, you feel me? Or y'all just wanna see me when I'm not on YouTube, man. Y'all folks go follow my Instagram so y'all folks could stay up to date with my lives. Y'all can see all of my stuff before I post it, my pictures, and just my lifestyle outside of YouTube, you feel me? But yeah, y'all boys, I am about to, uh, you feel me, enjoy my breakfast and shit. So I will see y'all boys when we is getting dressed for the day. No cap. All right, YouTube, we back into the video. I ain't on cap. I told y'all I was going to come back to y'all with an outfit today. So for today, we got the pants y'all sent to my P.O. box, the little flare joints. Y'all remember these. Feel me? We got my Louis V. skates with a snake skin on them, leather joints or whatever the K may be. You feel me? But we finna throw these on and I'm gonna figure out what jacket and shit we gonna wear. We gonna have TikTok Live help me with they extra. Y'all folks say hey to uh say hey to YouTube. No cap, no kids. Bro, ain't nobody stunning these folks. These folks be in my comments hating on TikTok. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If y'all end up making a TikTok, I want y'all to know you're gonna have a thousand people just watching you, just hating. Anyways, though, everybody say hey to YouTube, y'all. Everybody say hey to YouTube. Everybody say yo, yo. Everybody saying yo. But yeah, y'all. TikTok finna help me uh, decide which shirt and what jacket I'm gonna wear, but I'm gonna come back to y'all folks when I put this shit on. So I see y'all in a second. All right, y'all, boys. So we got a little slight change of plans, you feel me? I had my little Amiri sweater on with the. Uh, you feel me? Hold on, let me cut the lights on so y'all can really see what the fuck I got going on for real. It's kind of dark in this bitch. But yeah, I took off what I had on originally. I had on a hoodie. I put on a sweater instead with the little oversized, you feel me, and my little Louis Vuitton shoes. But I ain't really feeling this shit, and it's cold outside, and I ain't got no haircut, and I don't know where the fuck my glasses at. So the fact that my aesthetic and all my little accessories and shit is missing, you feel me? We finna change up the whole entire outfit, y'all. So... I'm finna put on some simpler shit. So with that being said, you feel me? Uh, what I was gonna say? I guess I'll come back to y'all folks when I change my outfit, y'all. So I see y'all folks in a second. But on some real shit though, y'all can't lie though. These pants do come trim with these shoes. Like they pair together nicely though. No cap. But yeah, I'm finna take this shit off. I see y'all folks in a second. All right, y'all boys. So I finally figured out what the fuck I'm gonna wear. You feel me? We go uh, Don's only apparel on the cap. You feel me? Mike Claire jacket on the coat. Black little polo t-shirt, the sweats that y'all sent in my P.O. box, and then we got some, uh, what the hell these is? We got some little Balenciagas on the feet, y'all. But yeah, some little calm, slight shit. It cold outside. I really just wanted to wear me a little chill outfit to go outside and run my errands real quick. So yeah, man, this is the outfit of the day. I will catch y'all folks when we get to the ZL1. So I see y'all folks at the car, y'all. All right, y'all boys. So right now we is at Wallet World slash Walmart. You feel me? Uh... I'm finna go in here and just get some little essentials, you feel me? I'm gonna take y'all for with me. I'm gonna grab some snacks and little shit for the crib. What the hell I was gonna say though? Yeah, man. It used to be a time to be alive when Walmart had a uh, fish and got down, you feel me? They had a little arcade section and they stayed open till 3 a.m. and shit like that. You know, that shit over with. Now, after COVID, everything changed in Walmart. I remember you coming this bitch at 2 o'clock in the morning and just being this bitch playing around and shit. But yeah, Walmart ain't like how it used to be, bro. What happened to the goldfish in the arcade, y'all? But I'm gonna get back to y'all folks in a second, man. I'm finna go down and grab me a little park. I don't cap y'all. Walmart already getting into the holiday spirit. They got different little Christmas shirts and shit. You feel me? Got They got the ugly Christmas sweaters. 
I ain't gonna count though. I might get one of these uh, Christmas sweaters to take me a picture during December, you feel me? I might post me some Christmas th uh, themed pictures on Instagram. But it be hard though. I know this shit supposed to be like a joke, like it's supposed to be an ugly Christmas sweater, but on some real gotcha. shit. What's going on, gang? You good? Hey, yeah, man. I'll be watching your videos and shit. Good looking, my brother. What the hell your name is, man? Shit, Jay. Jay, you from here? Hell no. I ain't from, I ain't from Atlanta. Where the hell you from? I'm from Jamaica. That's hard as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Good looking, though, gang. Man, I take a picture real quick, man. Hell yeah, I don't give a fuck. That shit funny, though, gang. These shit's got little buttons on them. Hold up. I think one of them said push here. Oh, no, it said put your drink in the pouch. I thought that shit had a little button on it to push it, child. Never mind. My ass slow as hell. But yeah, y'all, they got all the Christmas sweaters. I'm probably gonna come back and get one of these hoes like beginning of December so I can take a, a little Christmas picture in these hoes. But I ain't gonna get this shit now though. Oh shit, y'all. These niggas got, these niggas got, they got the U.S. Polo Assassin. Uh, they glad. Mm, official uh, partners with Walmart. The U.S. Polo Association. Assassin. I ain't gonna cap. If you come to Walmart and buy USPA Polo, boy, your ass is Say, oh my God! US, US. Okay, yeah, me and Leek finna go crazy. I don't know if I'ma buy it today, but like in the next month, I'm finna get a wheel and I'm finna get the crew too, so I can got down. You feel me? Play a little, uh, so I can play little race car games on my goddamn PlayStation and shit. I mean, I'm finna get a P. I'm finna get a PC too, but I ain't gonna count though. Like, I'm finna get the wheel and the crew first. From my PlayStation, so I can got down and play on the wheel. But, but yeah, I'm gonna got down and get the wheel and the crew too, so I can start playing that shit on my PS4. Not my PS4, but my PS5. And then after that, I'm gonna get a goddamn PC and shit. I got a whole bunch of shit I'm finna get for Christmas, y'all. So don't nobody be giving me uh, gifts for Christmas, so I'm finna get myself a gift for Christmas. You feel me? I'm finna get me a wheel, a PC. I'm finna get goddamn. Uh, I ain't gonna tell y'all the third thing I'm gonna get because it's gonna be a surprise for my channel. And then you feel me? For my birthday, I'm gonna probably got down and get a car and a chain. But yeah, man, y'all folks, stay tuned. I'm finna got down and see what the hell I'm finna grab out of Walmart. I'm gonna got down and put the camera down for a little second and then I'll pick y'all folks back up once I grab some shit. I ain't gonna count, y'all. I slick want a VR, but then again, bro, some folks be telling me this shit ain't worth the money. Y'all let me know in the comment section if any of y'all got a VR. Is this shit worth the money? Is it fun to play? Like, or is it not worth buying? If this shit not worth buying, I'm not gonna get one. But if y'all tell me like the VR is hard, I'm gonna I'm actually try to see what it's talking about. Cause see, on the little goddamn, uh, what you call it, on the commercial, they make this bitch look like it's some, some super, super fi shit. But everybody I know that got one, like, be having mixed opinions. Some folks say it's cool, some folks say that shit ass. So y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about the virtual reality headsets and shit. Where's blood going? <laughs> What's blood doing? <laughs> mm, footwork, footwork. Kick flip. Nolly. <laughs> Why is this shit zooming in? What the fuck? I ain't been on the skateboard in so long, huh? Mmm, oh, nah, classic. Bro, you are a criminal. What are you doing? Ooh, they light up at the bottom. Oh, he 2P. Motherfucking funny as hell. I ain't gonna okay. care. I slipped by this hoe. To be real. Kick flip. Hold on. This get too low, bro. I really need to go on my side. These hoes got down flimsy as fuck. Little ass shit. If they weren't so small, bro, I could really do some shit on that hoe. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Roger look dumb as hell. Oh, kick flip. Oh, shit. Oh, that nigga did it. Little pot shove it on that, yeah. This shit's fun. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all don't know we used to skateboard back in the day, man. If this shit wasn't so little, I could really get wicked on this bitch. I just can't get do what I want to do. I'm about to fucking fall, though. These bitches little as hell. 
Oh, can I do another one? Can I do another one? Oh, shit. God damn. Bitch is little. I can't. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to control. Pot shove it on the ass. That's basic one. Pot shove it. I look so on. I, can't even keep them I feel like that one's probably easy to do the, the shit song. This is this, this one. Try that one. Uh, the wheels actually rolling on that bitch. The other one ain't. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a, <laughs> that'd be a hard control to it. <laughs> Somebody loosened up the trucks on that bitch. <laughs> Whoever loosened up the trucks on that shit is a menace. I ain't gonna lie. I told you that bit flimsy as hell, twin. <laughs> that bit not sturdy. Board back. Oh, okay. Board backwards. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> that nigga dropped all his spaghetti. <laughs> Bro's up to no good. <laughs> Blood's up to nefarious timing. Stupid fuck. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> Bro, I don't want to with all your dumb ass. First it was funny, now you dragging it, nigga. Get my goddamn shoes. <laughs> what was that shit called when you was a little kid? Uh, it was green, you know, twin. I can't remember the name of that, but if y'all remember what I'm talking about, the shit that used to be like this, but was green when you was a little kid, y'all let me know in the comment section. In times like this, I wish I had a girlfriend, y'all. These niggas got an Oreo gingerbread. Oopsies. Anyways, in times like this, I wish I had a girlfriend. They got an Oreo gingerbread house, y'all. You feel me? It's all cook. It's all good though, cause even though I ain't got a girlfriend, you feel me? Nigga, they come Crayola. I could, I could just got down do this with the vibe. You feel me? They come Crayola too. Nah, the Sour Patch Kids gingerbread house is fucking they got disgusting. Batman. Whose idea was they it got to put? Chips Ahoy. Fuck all that. Who idea was it to put Sour Patch Kids on a goddamn they gingerbread got house? Eminem Superdome. Eminem Superdome. Chips all the way got down gingerbread house. I ain't gonna count. I would actually make one of these because I would real life end up eating that shit. Swiss miss. Hey y'all, we gonna come back in like a, a week or we gonna come back in like a week or two and we gonna get us a gingerbread they house and we gonna make this bitch during uh Christmas time, you feel me? So we could get into the Christmas spirit. It's hard. But yeah, y'all, since we did a Halloween theme vlog, I'm gonna do a, a Christmas theme vlog and we gonna uh, make gingerbread houses and you know, all that little goofy ass shit, you feel me? But we gonna wait until December. It's too early to be doing Christmas related shit right now. We ain't even made it through Thanksgiving yet. I ain't gonna lie to y'all though, I can't wait till Thanksgiving. I'm finna chow down. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. My favorite holidays is Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie though, I can't wait till Thanksgiving cause I'm finna go to like five different people houses scooping up plates and shit, you feel me? I'm a real Thanksgiving warrior. Hey y'all, why the hell niggas be buying boxes of cereal for goddamn like three, four dollars? And these niggas got a whole bag of cereal for six dollars. I'm finna start buying a bag, y'all. I'm finna grab me like three, four of these hoes though. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, we finna go, we we finna go, we need, we need Captain Crunch, I need Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What else I need out there, motherfucker? I don't know if I want no Lucky Charms. Oh, they got Fruity Pebbles with the marshmallows. They, got the they don't got no, they don't got no fruit. I'm mad, they ain't got no Fruit Loops with the marshmallows. How, how you got Fruity Pebbles with the marshmallows, but not Fruit Loops with the marshmallows? If you wanna go cheat, nah, the berry, saying? the berry Colossal Crunch is crazy work. What they got, the, uh, the Fruity Dino Bites. The Fruity mm, Dino Bites. With the bites. marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the twin, the Tootie Fruities and the mini, the mini Spooners and the Tootie Fruities. It's going down. Nah, the mini Spooners is crazy work. But yeah, y'all, I'm finna grab some of these shits and then we finna go check out. He said, I came in here with nothing. I'm leaving out with a cart full, y'all. 
Y'all can call me as childish as y'all want to based off the shit that's in my cart, but I don't give a fuck. I'm still a product of my environment, so fuck y'all. You can't hear me. But yeah, yeah, my cart kind of childish, man. We got the Pacific Cooler Capri Sun, you feel me? Ramen noodles, Velveeta. I got two goddamn big ass motherfucking bags of cereal in this bitch. What all I got? I got goddamn Captain Crunch berries. In a big ass bag of cinnamon for the crunch. We got the milk, the yoo-hoo's, some mashed potato, some water, cause you gotta stay hydrated. Ugh, lad. But yeah, yeah, I'm finna check out. I'll get back to y'all folks when I get in the car. But yeah, y'all, I couldn't help myself. This shit reminded me of my childhood. I had to get that motherfucker. Finna use this shit for goofy shit. No cap, no kids. What that nigga Pinky from Friday said? Say something, nickel. Say something, puss ass nickel. Say something else, nigga. Mm -mm. Say something else, nigga. Something else. Yeah, you want to blow it all the way down, blow it at the ground. <laughs> Fuck no, I won't do that <laughs> shit. So a nigga get to pulling that real pipe out and I'm scrambling for the Glock? Fuck no. <laughs> Look, Dylan said, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> niggas feel about the Capri Sun, but you feel me? Capri Suns is essential. I don't give a fuck how old I get. I'm still gonna have some Capri Suns in my shit. You feel me? Pacific Cooler is the go-to, though. Uh -huh. Child. So we is back to the vlog, man. You feel me? I'm finna get a little quick overview of everything I got from the store. You feel me? Okay, so we got the Yoohoo section right here. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. Argue with your mama. Yoohoo is the best chocolate milk in my opinion. So yeah, man, we got we got the Yoohoo section. We got the Gatorade section. They lined up like little army men or something. You feel me? We got the the waters with the the other water with the milk from the cereal with the other waters. Ugh, lad. Then we got, they got down the, the Capri Sun drawer. Y'all niggas don't know nothing about no Capri Sun drawer. We got the Roaring motherfuckers. And they got down the Fruit Punch motherfuckers. And then, you know, my little childish ass had to go get me some goddamn cereal. So we got the motherfucking, the big ass bag of goddamn uh, Crunch Berries and Cinnamon Toe Crack. Then we got my little ramen noodles. My little Instant Mad Potato with my goddamn, you feel me? I don't give a fuck, bro. I eat like a kid, y'all. But yeah, man, that's what I got from the store. Uh, it's late at night, so you feel me? I'm finna take my ass to sleep. I will pick up the camera and resume the vlog tomorrow. Uh, TikTok, y'all folks say hello to YouTube. Everybody say hey to YouTube real quick, y'all. Everybody say hey to YouTube, man. They looking at y'all. They talking about the duck in the fridge. Ugly. He made duck soup. Ugly. It's 700 some people in here, man. Everybody say yo, yo, yo. Okay. Y'all. YouTube see y'all ass. Damn, my forehead look big as hell on the camera. I need to go get me a haircut. But yeah, man. Everybody saying what's up and shit, man. Y'all know uh, if y'all ain't following me on TikTok and motherfucking Instagram, follow me at TikTok and Instagram at Who Casper. But yeah, I see y'all folks in the morning, man. Good night. I got going on YouTube. I told y'all I was gonna pick the camera back up when it's the next day, man. So we just finna head out right now. We finna go run some errands and shit like that. You feel me? Shout out to everybody that sent something to my P.O. box. If y'all don't recall earlier in the video, this was one of the shirts that came in my P.O. box. And these pants also came from my P.O. box, man. 
We finna head to that boy Tato so I get a haircut. I need a line up. We out here looking dingy. After I get a line up, we'll probably take some pictures or something, man. But like I said, man, shout out to everybody that sent something to my P.O. box. My whole outfit is for my P.O. today. Look, yeah, everybody, I tell them for we said, tell, ya, tell them for we said what's going on before I got down to leave out the house. Hold on. They talking about do a Casper versus 10. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. We need 100K subs before we do a Casper versus 10, y'all. But yeah, man, everybody said, yo, y'all. Everybody said what's going on and shit like that. But yeah. We is finna head out, so like I said, I will get back to y'all folks when I get downstairs. Say, we is, you feel me, back at the spin night. But yeah, y'all, I finally got me a goddamn lineup. I look like I got a home and somebody care about me now. And I went and got me some motherfucking food, y'all. Finna put y'all ass down, cause it don't even fucking matter, cause TikTok already put half of y'all ass down anyway, so it ain't no point in me goddamn gatekeeping. In the other spots, I be gatekeeping to the guys. Nigga be asking me where you get this food from. I tell y'all last, they got bulldozed as I was walking out that bitch. But yeah, man. Shout out to uh, Chef Kodak. Er, y'all don't even know this nigga, Chef Kodak. Y'all know him as hungry as fuck. But you, you feel me? If y'all come to Atlanta, go take y'all out of Chef Kodak. Hungry fuck. Go get you some little pasta and shit. But yeah, man. I'm finna eat all that you good shit. To use the oh, yeah. For sure. Nigga, all that cheese and chicken and shit. Yeah, you're, you're finna shit for sure. But yeah, y'all. I'm finna eat and shit, so I tune back in with y'all folks later, man. All right, y'all, we back into the vlog, man. We got, um, what, why, why you dancing and shit? We got my mama with me today, though, man. I ain't gonna lie, I need my mama to uh, cut my uni, bro, y'all. This shit look crazy on camera. What the hell? Why the hell my barber ain't cut my uni? I, I, need you. You. I need you to fix that. What type of chips you grab? Let these folks know what you're snacking on. Um, oh, I she being some... generic today. She yeah, got barbecue lace. She usually spray. don't get shit like that, though. But I kind of wanted the sweet and spicy Doritos, but I had those yesterday. The sweet and spicy Doritos? Where the hell you see them at? Oh, I ain't never had them before. What the fuck They're is good. them? I like them. Damn, great bag of Doritos. Y'all ever had these? I ain't never seen these shit before. Anyways, y'all, we had the gas that's right now, though, y'all. Uh, I'm finna head out, so I guess I will get to y'all folks when I leave this motherfucker. No cap, no kids. Shut up, nigga. Shut up, bitch ass nigga. You lucky I ran out, fuck nigga. Hey y'all, it's my young nigga birthday, man. My young, my young boy, ugly lad. It really my my eldest boy. Stupid. <laughs> All right, y'all boys. So if y'all can't tell, man, it is the next day. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Yesterday was pretty cool. I got to handle all my business. Ran some errands, went to go see my mama, picked up some money, made some money, all that good stuff. And yeah, it was just a pretty productive day yesterday, y'all. All I'm going to say is, man, you feel me? This is the end of the video. Uh, we got another day in the life of Casper coming out in two days. If y'all can't tell, I will be outside vlogging today, y'all. And I just want to tell y'all folks, I appreciate y'all, bro. Every time I post a video, bro, we is gaining a thousand subs per video. We was at 25K subs last video. We had 26 K subs this video and by the time we drop the next video we're gonna be at 27 man we is on the road to 100k subs so if y'all folks new to the channel y'all new to the family man go ahead subscribe like leave a comment man and i just want to let y'all folks know like i really appreciate y'all for like i never expected this shit to get as big as it is and it's only gonna get bigger and it's just crazy to me because having a platform and just being able to show people like at one point in time I want y'all folks to know, if you're watching my video right now from your mom crib, you're watching it on your phone at work, or you're watching this video from wherever you at in the world, even if you're in your own crib and you're just not where you want to be in life, at one point in time, I used to be in y'all position. Same as that place y'all at. So I want y'all to realize that I do this shit and I record these vlogs and show my life not to flaunt, not to try to flex on people, or not just to make money. You know what I'm saying? I do this because I want people to see that like anything is possible. At one point in time, I was in y'all same position if not worse than some of y'all, you know what I'm saying? And I just want y'all to know that whatever you got in your head, whatever that idea is that you think is going to change your life, invest into it, go hard at it, bro. And just tell yourself that giving up or losing is not an option, bro. And at the end of the day, I promise y'all it'll work out for y'all folks. I just want to let y'all know I would not be where I'm at right now if it wasn't for y'all support. I love y'all folks dearly. And yeah, man, we on the road to 100K subs. We should be at 27K subs by the time y'all see the next vlog. And yeah, man, y'all folks just stay tuned. Shit only gonna get bigger, better, and more entertaining. And that's all I can say. So if y'all new to the channel, like I said, man, go ahead, subscribe. Y'all folks, like, comment, share. And look, Casper, we'll see y'all folks in the next day in the life of Casper. No cap.